Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Alrighty, today I wanted to talk about a different type of topic. I'm not going to get involved in sports cards. This is more combining sports and politics. And I'm over at Outkit.com. The MLB is facing a $100 million lawsuit for pulling the All-Star game out of Georgia. Let's read a few paragraphs. MLB's decision to pull the 2021 All-Star game out of Atlanta at first faced a major backlash. Now it's facing a lawsuit. Per Atlanta's WXIA-TV, the Job Creators Network has filed a $100 million lawsuit in federal court in New York. Part of the suit demands that MLB return the All-Star Game to Cobb County. The $100 million is for damages to local and state small businesses already impacted by MLB's decision to remove the Midsummer Classic, the lawsuit alleges. Many of the businesses are owned by minorities and are still recovering from losses during the pandemic. This was really unfortunate what happened this year. MLB caved into pressure most likely from advertisers and also the union didn't want to have this game or the union had didn't want this game from what i've read by the way they didn't want the game in georgia because of the new voting bill that they enacted this year and they felt that would be detrimental to voters in the state specifically those individuals in urban areas. So they decided to then move the game to Denver. So here's the most messed up part about this. This bill, the MLB said, the Manford and all those guys said that this is not good basically for minorities. But what ended up happening was getting rid of the game in Georgia or specifically Atlanta where there is a an African American neighborhood and an African American dominated business sector if you're taking business away from minority owned firms What's the point of having this protest? Why is this game going to Denver where it's less diverse and there aren't that many minority businesses there? So when I saw all of this, I was thinking, why on earth would MLB do this? I had a text message with one of my family members and he said, uh, is the MLB seriously doing this? And this individual is a Democrat. And he asked me, I'm into conspiracy theories. I don't get into them on this channel. But he asked me straight up, is uh, MLB compromised? Is Rob Manford compromised? And th that was one of the first thoughts that I had because it makes no sense to do this. And on top of this, from my readings, Denver has similar voting requirements just as in the state of Georgia. So this made no sense to me whatsoever. And here's the deal. If MLB and other sports decide to act like this, you're going to have to deal with litigation. Sure, the MLB probably has their lawyers, but why would you put yourself at risk for $100 million? This situation could have easily been avoided. What MLB could have done was they could have made a statement. While we're not in the business of politics, we do not agree with what happened in the state of Georgia. That being said, we are not going to punish the businesses in Atlanta where many of the business owners are minorities, we don't want to punish them because they have prepared for this and they were willing, they were really happy to get business going, especially with what happened during last year's pandemic, 
where many small businesses have been hurt and this is a time for more growth and more opportunity in the greater Atlanta area. If the MLB came out with that statement, I think that would have been a hundred times better than what the MLB is doing. Granted, um, this was a few months ago. A lot of people have forgotten it. Uh, the economy is opening back up. So this is really in the rear mute, excuse me, rear mirror of most of the people that are baseball fans. There were a lot of people that were ticked off in the beginning. People didn't watch the games. But ultimately, I think people are going to come back. But the MLB can't make these types of mistakes. We know what happened uh, to the NBA last year. Once they abandoned about 50 to 60 percent of their audience, they saw the ratings go down big time. And 50 to 60 percent of the U.S. population that watches basketball, they don't want politics in there. Granted, I still watch the third and the fourth round of the NBA playoffs. That being said, there are a lot of problems with the NBA. I think the NBA is probably the worst league right now in terms of management. And then I would say the MLB is next. With what Rob Manford did, he wants to destroy his consumer base, which a lot of people are conservative. So when he did this move, he basically gave the middle finger to many of the baseball fans out there. So it should be interesting how this will hold up in court. I wonder if the MLB will continue to do these type of things. Once again, I'm not sure why Rob Manford even did this. He could have just made a statement. And it doesn't make any sense. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks. Bye.